These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. <clears throat> All right, what's up everybody? Grim Green back here. Today, I'm gonna do my full review for the Cross 3 Nano. Much like that Coco that I reviewed recently, it's been about a week with this, and I think in that week, no, I lied. It's been about a week and a half, and in that week and a half, I think I've learned everything that I need to know about the Cross 3 Nano. It uses the Cross 3 coil-based pods. What I say, coil? Mesh-based pods. All of the Cross pods will fit inside of this battery from the 0.6 to the 0.12. Now, right now, I'm in the middle of trying all of those coil heads, and there'll be a video later where I'm going to rank them. But overall, the Cross series of coil heads are letter grade A coil heads. I mean, the umbrella that they fall under is an A. I'm gonna rank them individually later, but they're an A coil head. Now, we pair that A coil head with arguably one of my favorite looking little square batteries, the Cross 3 Nano. We end up with something pretty great. This in here right now is the 0.6, which is intended for restricted direct lung using a free base liquid. That's exactly what's in here, and that's exactly what I just did. But the airflow on here is pretty great and pretty adjustable. I like to slide it about halfway up. Gives me a nice open mouth to lung with the same coil head. I can close the airflow all the way off and I'm using that tiny little hole at the top and getting a very, very nice, tight, but still very enjoyable mouth to lung, all with the same pod still. In fact, this Cross 3 Nano with the airflow all the way off, just using the pinhole, feels a lot like the Cross 3 Mini, which is my favorite, current favorite draw from a pod right now currently. Personally, in my subjective opinion, these are far and away the coolest looking pods that Vaporezzo has released, the coolest nano looking pods that Vaporezzo has released. Opened up the orange with the orange accent and the blue with the orange accent. I think they both look sick. These little stubby guys are about, uh, about two inches across the bottom. Side to side with the original Nano, it's not actually that much bigger. It just doesn't have that like dividing line down the middle. And I think not having that little dividing line makes it feel and look a little bit bigger, like bigger than it actually is. It's a very reasonable size and it can use a lanyard if I wanted to use a lanyard which I don't I have no other choice but to give this 10 full banana stickers it's far and away my favorite cross nano that they've done it's probably one of my favorite cube small cube size batteries even though I don't generally love these I love the contrast with the blue and the orange, that alone is worth the price of admission. USB-C charging a supposed 1000 ma or milliamp hour battery, which anecdotally seems to hold up. This, this Cross 3 Nano outlasts some other pods for what it's worth. I am a pod snob. <laughs> I am a mouth to lung snob, and I can categorically say that, that I love the ever-loving crap out of this thing. I am just sitting here vaping, so I guess this is clearly the end of the video. I can't tell you how much these costs or where to get them, but I can tell you this, if you're currently smoking cigarettes and you're an adult, maybe you need to stop. Even if you're underage, you also need to stop. But I can't tell you to stop this way for some reason. Now's the time to stop. Better living through science, better living through technology. There is a world of safer nicotine products on the market. In the description of this video, I'm going to put some links to Just Science and Just Education. This has been a Grim Green video. Let's stay smoke free every single day. <coughs> it's like 10.30 and I'm uh, just going to smoke, so...